Hello everybody, it's episode 57 of Aussie Max Zone. Unfortunately, it's only me. I haven't been able to get the two others together. So I'd just like to remind you that Aussie Max Zone is brought to you by Aussie Tech Heads Web Hosting. And we can found at www.athwebhosting.com.au you got Australian servers, affordable prices, 99.5% uptime, easy to install WordPress, Joomla, Drupal and others. So again, sorry for being late with this episode, it's just trying to get everybody back together. So we're going to start with a rant from me, as soon as I'm the only one here, that's pretty obvious, but... Um, the EU and Canada court rulings. Why is it Google's responsibility to manage the right to be forgotten? EU court has said it's up to all search engines to remove information from the public record in the EU and have now said that they cannot inform the original creator for example, a newspaper, that they've removed it. I just, I don't get it. How is it Google's responsibility for what someone else prints? And and also it puts the onus on Google is that my name's John Smith and I don't like what happened to John Smith down the road. So I've got to, comp- I've got to go and see Google and complain and say get the name John Smith taken off. I don't. Just, I don't know how you police it at all. It's impossible. And then, and then Canada, Canada have come up and said they want to remove the public record from the world. There's some particular in, uh, particular company in Canada that was selling cheap knockoffs of someone else's product from Canada. And they've said you've got to drop drop that name of that company from everywhere in the world. It's just impossible. <laughs> I don't, I don't get it. If they're doing a knockoff and there's a trade problem, take it through the courts and everybody will hear about it, and they'll realise someone's being ripped off. So I've got to admit, I'm not perfect, but I have to take responsibility for all my actions. I just, I'm dumbfounded that it can go on like that. How, how do they expect it to? to happen and why is it google or bing or if, if i go out and go speeding and get a ticket why is it just bing responsibility or yahoo's responsibility it just doesn't make sense so that, that's my rant over and done with but um on on good news side again we've got the apple sees the fifth beta versions of ios 8 yosemite to developers or and Yosemite developers. Wish I could speak English, but uh, so that all came out. Different build number, uh, fixes for Cloud Kit, document provider, extensions, FaceTime, family sharing, find my friends, handoff, health kit, home kit, iads. It's, it's all happening out there. I wish they'd hurry up and just get it to us. I'm glad they're going through the, the developer channel and um, now letting people like you and me test Yosemite early I s- still wouldn't be doing it on my main machine I'd either put on a USB drive and keep playing within it but a lot of the advantages with Yosemite is like handoff which is just great with your phone but we haven't got the developer package on the phone so we're going to miss all those good things until it actually happens so uh, even i'm hanging off at the moment but um it's good to see it's happening uh, also receiving an update some with the beta version of xcode apple tv and apple configurator so that's good to hear because apple configurator can do with some work so apple releases a new iphone 5s ad it's called dreams and it showcases uses uses for the phone in medicine, firefighting, 
and others. So I've actually watched it. We'll put a link up in the show notes for you to see it if you haven't seen it. Uh, it's got a new, uh, what's her name? Jennifer O'Connor's new single, When I Grow Up, which was released on iTunes earlier this week. There you go. See, it all ties in together. And the app highlights a specific set of apps, which is, this is a great idea where they show you all the apps and then give you information about them on the Apple's website. Uh, it's called Powerful. Uh, sorry, I just... A specific set of app which Apple has desailed on the app date page Powerful on its website. Uh, the apps and external external hardware so there's a little wind meter so you can measure your wind before you jump off a cliff with your um, ultralight or your hang glider that sort of thing there's a thing called response deck there's i translate voice that's just a few of them that i that i picked up on while i was watching it so it's a good it's a good little ad bit of fun uh, inspiring that's that's very true so now I've got to plug the other shows, of course. So if you, if you could like us somewhere along the line on, on facebook.com, Aussie Tech Heads, that, that'd that help us. Uh, not much more I can say about that. And then don't forget, there's also a thing called aussietechheads.com.au slash paper. And that's just basically a newspaper, nice and easy and kick along. And seeing as how I do some of the work for this, Aussie Tech Hair, oh, sorry, AussieMaxZone.com.au. You go there and go to our news page. I try and keep it up to date every day, mostly. If there's anything worth looking at, there's always lots and lots of rumours, which I, I don't do too many of. They bore me to tears after the first week. And that first week's usually after we've just released something and everyone's gone, okay, what's next? And then start carrying on with a load of cobblers so but um oh here we go and a story another win for apple so this is from cnet uh the iphone accounts for a little more than half of all smartphone traffic seen in july in america so we're, t- we're talking there's apple at 52 percent then Samsung at 26.5%, and then basically LG and Motorola, and it goes down, down, down from there. Uh, but this is only American traffic, remember. Because uh, also this week it was released that Android has just passed Apple for worldwide traffic. I think it's about 6 or 55 45 or no or less than that uh but remember apple's one brand and android's everybody else <laughs> it's just hard to keep up with um but yeah interesting to see what happens if everybody buys the new iphone how much that will go up go up and down by so yeah that's oh here we go now i've got my dough tip Ah, dope. So, Automator, I, I hope some of you are using Automator out there. It's it's used to create automated actions like back up an, an attached hard drive to another hard drive. Or if I place a picture in a particular folder, I can have a folder action that resizes the picture and the resolution to some, some other size and moves it to an, like a modified folder so you can... Work out what you want. Put 20 photos in there and it'll just go through and run the process for you. Um, so when they release Mavericks, some of the actions stopped working. And we all went, dog! But they've slowly come back with each iteration of, of 10.9. Uh, so each update just bought a little bit. So that was awesome. And I've been using it again this week for, for doing some hard drive to hard drive are syncing and it's been great it's been it is a little bit harder to write the script for but once you once you do one save it as a calendar event set it for 11 o'clock at night it'll just back up from hard drive to hard drive and away you go um it's just it's pretty simple and you can run the test script and away you go it does so much stuff 
you can do it to local or remote network hard drives it's, there's so much it can do and there's lots of great information out on the web about it and as I said all the complaints that came out when Mavericks was released they slowly caught back up again so good on Apple slow but steady thank you now let's finish on a great story from from the age site uh, the age newspaper site so there's a again uh, sorry losing track here so there's a guy called christopher hills he's 18 he's a quadriplegic uh he's born with uh, anthetoid cerebral palsy uh and that's a limit to your ability to control muscle function and speech his brain works fine but to use a computer he lies on his neck muscles to operate a switch control so imagine trying to do that persistence pays off i guess so apple recently built switch control directly into os x which hill says is a huge benefit to his parents surprise hills become so masterful on his mac that he's qualified as an apple certified pro in final cut pro x so like even i'm not anywhere near that like it's just <laughs> i'm very jealous already um software recently used to edit the award-winning australian feature film mystery road is similar sand ambitions to be a visual storyteller and is studying video production online at rmit the royal Melbourne institute great place to so christopher very proud of you mate well done uh, and people can read the full story at the age site assistive technology puts creativity creativity within reach so i think that's pretty cool <laughs> it's just it is uplifting isn't it when you think about all the things you got to do to to run final cut pro let alone be a, a certified pro at it i know what that involves and that's just awesome to see that he's done that so i'm very jealous um so that brings us to the end of this short little episode and again i apologize for being late but just trying to get everyone together wasn't quite working so uh hopefully we'll have other people's better tones than my boring little docile mono voice next week so we'll be looking forward to that on, on like we do every night so every tuesday night rocking on thanks everybody have a great week aussie max zone <laughs>